Yo, yo, what's good with everybody, man? It's your boy Get Shut Out coming to you with some more Madden, man. We got the Chiefs versus the Eagles. I'm playing as my team this time. Even though I still like the Dallas playbook, I don't know why I didn't switch to a different playbook. I mean, the Chiefs playbook. And uh, we about to get the kickoff off. But let me say something real quick, man. If you enjoy the content, subscribe, hit the like button, man. Help the channel grow as we get into this game right here. I, if the kick ever this deep, I'm never going to take it out. So we're going to get set up for offense right here. So right here, you know I'm about to test the run as always do first play. Always going to be run. Test out how good you set me up for the run. Uh, like I said, I get one track minded sometimes and get pass heavy. Never want to get pass heavy. Always stay in your game plan. And so, we're going to try to get a good pass off. Man, I'm going to tell you, man, for me, offensively was terrible. Now, I'm not I'm not the best on offense to begin with. I'm more better on defense than offense. But this game right here is just straight terrible. Very competitive, but terrible. But we get a big game with Kelsey right here. That, that's how we do it right there, man. And then, now, now after they, these couple of plays right here, the game just start going terrible for your boy. But. So, right here, we're going to set up a couple of runs, man. Hate throwing in the red zone. So, we're going to try to run the ball a couple of plays. Only throw it if we have to. So, we're going to get one more run off right here before we... Even think about throwing as I get the touchdown. Lucky I got the touchdown. Did not want to throw in the red zone. Hate throwing in the red zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So first half right here of defense, we're going to be trying to get the blitz on, try different blitzes, try man blitzes, zone blitzes. You know, just try to see what we could do on blitzes because I am still practicing for Madden 24. So, so we just doing a lot of things to see what works, what don't work. And uh, so, but let me tell you something, man. If they start beating a certain coverage, man, don't be afraid to switch up. And it's shit. You got to try out all the covers, man. Do that, man, because if you stay in the same defense. And uh, let them just pick you apart, man. And you looking at a, a loser. You look looking at an L. So switch up, do what you got to do, adjust to the game, and uh, yeah. So we're gonna do pretty good on stopping a run. We're not really worrying about the run so often. It's just his pass is gonna start, you know, picking up some games, but the run. We get some yardage right there, but we do, as a whole, we do good on the run in this game, so we're not worrying about that. So, he get a pass off right here, get the first down. Right now, we still testing to see who is the go-to people, what he like to do. It is the Eagles. We played in the Super Bowl. You know they stack. But we just trying to see when his tendencies is right now. So, Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not so right now, we still in man blitz. We still trying to blitz them. Now, this play right here, man, normally I know what they want to do, especially when you got somebody like Hurts. You got to run a quarterback that can take off. I know how people love running with the quarterback, so I should have been ready for that. Should have been better repaired. And uh, right here, we still in man. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. After one seven. 
So now he closer. He more deeper into the red zone. So I'm going to try a little bit of zone to see. I don't like running in. And right there, you get a big game right there. But I got to close up that gap better and uh, do a better job. Move up my man just in case he run. I have an extra body for somebody else. If I can't get to him, somebody else gets to him. But he saw to pass it. Now, this what like, man, you see how, like, tight of a throw that was and how my players didn't react so good to that. You would see that a lot during this game. My players would not not react to the stuff they need to be reacting to, man. But it gets a touchdown, tie 7-7. This when the game get terrible for me. You will see as we go along, I start getting careless. Once you get careless, if you don't check yourself, you're going to stay careless. And I start off, start off the drive right now as I normally do get a run off. But we're going to get real careless. And like I said, you don't check yourself, you're going to stay careless. So make sure you check yourself. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. So we're going to go for the pass right here. Man, I try to just look for pass plays. I'm going to be trying a lot of different pass plays. Because like I said, I'm in a Chiefs playbook. I do not like the Chiefs play. We throw a pick right there. You're going to see a lot of that. I'm just going to warn you ahead as we get the pick. He could have got the pick six, but he got scared and ran out of bounds. But you're about to see a lot of that. But like I said, the Chiefs playbook is terrible. I don't know if they haven't been watching us for the last, you know, and, 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 and this win, the game get real terrible, as I could have got the fumble, but his man was right on it as soon as he got his stick and fumble. But like I was saying, I don't know where they've been at for the last five, six years, but how powerful our offense is, that's the only play you got for the Chiefs. Why do the Chiefs got one of the most powerful offense in the game but the most terrible playbook in the game but he gets the touchdown now he went up the score and uh we about to be in some trouble now after the touchdown here's elliot on to kick it away now, like always, normally we start to drive off with a run, but now you see I'm getting unpatient, and I want that score right back, so we're going to go with a pass. Normally, I'll run every first play, doesn't matter what's going on, and I try to get him. I, I thought he would be at least have a little bit more space by the time I throw it. I just started making bad reads, bad throws. And what I don't think the throws are too bad, man, because when you, like, half the interceptions I get, you will see I try to hit people over the top. And the ball just go right to the defender, like. I'm not trying to necessarily high ball it because I don't want the guy to jump to try to catch the ball. But I try to just, you know, man, how the quarterbacks in the real NFL, man, got that good spiral down, man, and go right past the defender. Right to your man, man, but you know, things that's on this game just ain't as real, man. But we're not complaining about the game, so we're back on defense. So, sooner or later, you're gonna switch. I'm, I'm running zone, he's been tearing up the same real fast, so I'm trying to still figure out my defense, figure out what works. We're doing some zones. I think I get out of man completely, but man is getting me shredded. But I'm still trying to put pressure, so. We try to look on some uh, zone blitzes as we get the dot right there. Start working up field. I know if we score, I'm gonna be in some trouble, and we're gonna try to stop it. We're gonna try. They'll run with Sanders, and the reinforcements come in as they're gonna see that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And here he'll get it. Well, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Hurts. So, 
He's working his way up in the red zone. I'm going to switch to a cover four. Here, right here, this is what I'm talking about when computers don't react the way they need to react. I don't know why that purple was so far. I, I think I still had it man. So, he gets a touchdown right there. But, yeah, while that purple was set up like that, I had my uh, defense set up to man position. So, I forgot to base him again. So, I'm going to get that in order. And uh, so this this is when it start looking up defensive wise, offensive wise, terrible. But defensive wise, this is when the game start looking up for me. But we're on offense, so it's still looking terrible. Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. So right here, man, thought I could get it in there, man. I don't know what I was thinking right there. Real bad, though. As he gets kicked, man. Now I'm in trouble. Cause now he already passed the kick. So I'm in some trouble right now. But this one, you about to see that defense start doing. And I still got it set up to me. So you see I had to switch him over. But I'm going to fix that eventually and base him up. And... He, he tried to go for the kill right there, straight straight for the kill, but I got that never give up mentality, so let's see what's going to happen. And he's brought down inside the 20 and open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. But first down, Hurts. So you see, he working the ball up up the field very good. I gotta get a stop, or at least hold him to throw. You can't let him score because it might be the end if he score. Three points down, that's not good. But we about to go to halftime, so let's see. Now I don't know what made him throw that. He seen me charlie with my user the whole way through. I guess because he thought I was moving all the way to um, the right or whatever. Uh, he thought he could sneak that in, but play that, get the pitch, and that's what, even though we didn't get ball at half, that's what I need, I need to keep him scoreless, and, uh, now I got a better chance of winning. Pulls it in at the 13. And they gotta be pleased with this, he brings it all the way. Make sure you don't get your foot off the gas, message received. So right now, I'm going to stay in this cover four. You're going to see why I stay in this cover four. As I just told him, he throw it right to my guy right there. Sneed played it perfect. Now, he was in a curl flat. If he was in a hard flat, he probably would have played that because it was a dude underneath him that I thought he would have bit on. But he played that perfect, get the pick for me. And now... We 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 are scoring range. We're gonna try to score the ball now. Get back in the game. On second and nine, Mahomes gets this into the. So we still try to pass the ball, trying to get things going. I know I can't just take my time, but never abandon your principle, man. I still had time to run it. I'm just gonna get pass heavy. Like always. And, uh, yeah, man, my, my receivers just wasn't creating enough separation, man. Like, I feel like I had a couple of plays that should have been as I get toe up right there. And fourth and 17, I got to have something. I wasn't about to kick no field goal because I felt like I needed to score. So, no field goal right here. We're going to try to get something. I thought he could get more space and I thought I could throw it more over his head like always. I've been thinking, you know, like real NFL, you know, like throw it over their head, back shoulder throw, stuff like that, but it go right to the pit. Another pick. So at this point, man, it's a pick party for him. Like he and, and shit, it's a big part of me too. As we get the sack, that's what much me. That saved the whole game right there in my eyes. Me getting that sack because I just, man, offense wise, I wasn't doing a damn thing. And by them getting that sack right there, man, help help the brother out real good.
So, back on offense right now, like I said, I'm just texting plays. I can't stand the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. I believe the real team do not have these type of plays. As we get a good throw right there with Kelsey, right the first tackle, I try to get loose after that. But I know I got to score now. Can't stop. So, I'm going to try the vertical one right here, man. I don't think that's going to work out. Put one slant just in case. You know, and then bam, hit the underneath. Lucky see I was about to go to that that uh I was about to go to to that slant. And lucky I didn't. So we still now normally this play works out good for me, but like I said, not enough torque on the ball. Didn't get him to go like how I wanted, leading him the way I wanted to. And he get another pick, boy. So like I said, I'm throwing a hundred picks. It's looking terrible, but where this game get good and where it get interested in is my ability to play good defense now. Now we're playing nothing but cover four. I've seen that it's working, so if, if a play works, if a defense play works, man, keep on running that defense until they prove you want to Ain't as we get the pick right there. Ain't no need to switch your defense if they can't stop it. But if they shredding you up, that's when you need to find that defensive play. They can't shred up no more. And so we back on offense. Is we going to do anything? I don't know, man. I don't know. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. So like I said, I'm looking for any, at this point, man, I'm getting desperate. You see, I stopped running the ball completely. I'm looking for any pass play that can get me results. And it, it ain't none, man. I, and that could have been risky because normally, boy, how he was acting, he could have cut that off, man. So we go to five wide right here to see, can I get a little break right here? And normally five wide is good, man. When you... When you don't got no options, as we get a good... Now, I believe that was a decent throw. Yeah, it was a lot of fender around, but I think that was a tight window right there that he should have held on to the ball. But like I said, we and, and he's just watching the middle of the field, and that leaves him right there, Harmon, to get that big game right there because he just was trolling the middle. And you've seen that he got the perfect cut because I was going to the middle. I was thinking about Kelsey until I seen that good cut right there. So, it's fourth quarter, man. It's championship time, man. So, this when this when the game is on the line. You see the start. You see I'm down. I'm down by more than one touchdown. So, we got to do something now. It ain't as That could have been terrible. I, I really could have threw the pick right there, but I get lucky right there. And uh, dude dropped the ball, or just deflected the ball. So, uh, right there. Now, I hate when linemen play that and get the pick. So, lucky the lineman didn't get the pick right there. I hate when, because my, my full, I mean, my uh, linebackers be dropping the ball. Some of my uh, free safety dropped the ball. And, and I don't know what, I, I guess he didn't click on right, but I get a tight little throw right there. And now we moving, man. Some of them plays were risky, but now we're in a groove. Now we moving, man. We just got to get a point because we down two, so we got to get something here. Now, terrible. Now, as you see, Kelsey would have been wide open. As I'm getting ready for Kelsey, because I knew he was going to be wide open, he get bumped, and dude get the perfect pick. Fourth quarter, I'm down by two possessions, he gets the pick, man. So right now, it, 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 look, it, it looking very bad for me, man, but never give up on a game, man. A lot of people give up on a game. Like, a lot of people would have threw that pick right there and would have just quit. But the thing is, man, it doesn't matter if you get blown out in a game, man. Play that game through, man, because chances are you might face somebody that's running a similar offense or a similar defense that you, <coughs> excuse me, that you having a tough time, you know, doing anything against. As I get the pick right there, he came through big, and, and that's what I needed, the pick six. 
Not just the pick. I need the pick six. But this one saved the game right here. But like I said, you might run into an opponent, man, that running a similar defense, offensive scheme. And if you just quit on every people like that, you know, hard games, you ain't never going to figure out a way to stop it. So even if you're getting blown out by 40, man, play the game because – if you keep on playing, you might find a way to stop that. And once you do, next time you face somebody like that, you will have a better time. You might shit. You might win now. You might win every time you face that defense or offense. You never know. So always play your game, man. Never give up. And we're, we're not giving up, man. We just need one stop. Defense been playing good. Uh, uh, hey, how many picks have you been getting? I've been getting picks as well. This became a pick game. This game has really became, and man, he been getting so lucky on that man. This dude looked like a tight end or something, and and this dude just breaks it off every time. Like he get amazing yards. But like I said, cover third, uh, cover four, we stopping it. He he getting panicky. You see him panicky. He trying to run the ball. He trying to cut as much as time out the game. But like I said, defense playing good. All we need is one stop. And this is what I'm talking about. See, this play is similar to the play Sneed picked off in the beginning, one of the first picks I got. But you see, he hesitated to play up because that guy was down. So he hesitated to play, and he got that uh, window off and got that completion. So, But uh, all we need to stop as I'm just going to troll the middle, see him over, can't leave him. And this one he messed up. He tried to throw it to, I don't know why he tried to throw deep. He didn't have an arm. you seen in the Super Bowl, Jalen Hurt didn't have the arm. So you know he can't throw it like that as we get the pick. This is what we needed. Is we're going to make it count? Stay tuned and find out. Now, now I say, you know what? It's time for me to get back to my game plan. Like I said, I try to tell people do not abandon what your play style is. And you seen through this whole game, I abandoned, I became pass heavy as we finally get back to the run, get a good game. And so now, since I got the good game, we're going to continue doing it. I got nothing but time. You know, I want, if I score, I want this time to be almost gone anyway. So as we get another big game, so you must to see that a lot. As I get more, if I, if I get the first down, first play, of course, the next play going to be a run. Ain't no need to even attempt to pass the ball if I'm getting uh, first down every time I run the ball. As we get another first, dude, like, it's looking bad now. It's looking like that comeback might happen. That's why I said don't ever give up as we keep on running the ball. Bam, big break right there. And now, by him stopping me right there, he's going to have to use a timeout. He used a timeout. And now he only got two times now. Now I just got to score. Now the red zone get harder to run as we get blown up right there. Probably got a, gang, a yard or two. But we basically got blown up. Going to try that run. That run been working out for me real good. Play got blown up again. So now we're going to try to go for the pass. Now it's getting to where I got the score. We're not in good range to well, even if I ran the ball and got to the second, or if I don't get the touchdown, that's just a wasted play as I only got two more plays to try to score. Fourth and goal. Game is on the line. I ran that same now I ran that same play. I hurried up offense because I knew that he was going to play uh, Kelsey and R1. I know he's going to play him. So what you're going to see, I'm going to do um, a zig. With my boy right there, I believe that's Juju. I'm a uh, so yeah, yeah, that's Juju. So I'm gonna put him on the little zig, and then bam, dude. See the dude, the only dude that could have stopped that. He, like I said, played the middle. He started late to play the middle, where he should have stayed where he was at, cause he was in good position to stop me right there. So right now. I'm not risking him getting in field goal range and beating me. So, we got to go for the two. We get the two. Now, we got the lead. Now, it's up to him to try to win. We done fought back. You know, most people would have gave up how many picks I threw. I know a lot of people would have gave up, man. But we fight through it. Now, we lead it. 
Now we just gotta come up with one more stop to end the game. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. And the Chiefs are going to signal for and be granted another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Ready, break. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Ready, they'll look to throw. He's going to let it fly. <laughs> And that's intercepted yet again, and that could be the backbreaker. And the Chiefs are going to take possession. GG's, my man, GG's. Well, you knew you had to take some chances here with the clock winding down, needing a touchdown to win it, and that one might have just sealed their fate. Yeah, and that's the nature of the two-minute drill, the offense trying to go downfield and make their plays. But defenses, they're sitting back watching everything that they do but not too far back. They want to be in position to make a play on the ball. Hey, GG's, man. One hell of a game, dog. They took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. That was an excellent come from behind victory, Charles, especially there in the fourth quarter. Both offense and defense were clicking. They're going to feel good about this one. Boy, are they ever, because the deficit they faced certainly wasn't small. They obviously did not give up on that one. And in the end, how about that come from behind victory? They'll cherish this one for a while.